right, so Kevin, we had we recently had a suggestion from one of our viewers to do a walk around on your trike. Unfortunately, the trike's not here today, but your soft tail is, and we got a lot of stuff on this bike. And if you want to, point it out to the camera. Alrighty, um, we'll start at the front. We'll start first of all. It says deluxe. It's not a deluxe. It's a heritage. But what I did is I like the deluxe trim better. I like the bags on the Heritage and the suspension on the Heritage better. So I put all Deluxe trim front and back on it, but uh, including that to confuse people, but it's a Heritage. Uh, first thing I did is it didn't come with LED lights. I used the LED lights, put LED lights in it, right? All three of these. This is uh, running lights and turn signals and there's the running lights, and then you can see the turn signals. And eventually I'm gonna delete these. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, uh, and this, by the way, this bike was black when I got it. And when I did the trim changes, I also got the color that I always wanted since I was like 11 years old and watched the bikes go by. So that's, uh, on the front, moving back, I have an oil cooler. I added an oil cooler to it right here. Got a tank lift right here. Have a 587 air cleaner with the matching timing cover here. Uh, put a digital oil temp gauge there. These are the factory seats. This is a grasshopper backrest. It's an inexpensive but very comfortable backrest. I put these, these are the factory bars, but I put these pullback uh, extensions on to get the handlebars back closer to me. Factory mirrors, got the ISO grips on it, power vision on it, cruiser caddy on it. This is here for the GoPro. Oh, and I put flush mounted uh, gas cap here. And on the other side, on the, um, I think it's on your uh, deluxe also. You know, this is usually a gas gauge right here. And I took the gas gauge out because I have a gas gauge in my Speedo. There's a gas gauge, so I didn't need the one here, so I was able to go flush mount on both of these. And as long as you're over there, let's do, come over here. I have the oil filter relocation here. I have some love jug fans here, a coil relocation. So between the oil filter relocation, the oil cooler, because this is a 2012 soft tail, and they run pretty hot from the factory. So tank lift gets the tank up off the engine. Oil filter relocation gives me a little extra cooling. Oil cooler gives some more. Getting this coil out from back here lets more air go around the back cylinder and then the love jugs fans oh also up front i have the stealth driving lights so i'm very visible during the day and well lit up at night got deer whistles right here have no idea if they do any good but they i don't think they attract the deer i also put uh floorboard extensions on and um, that just makes it a lot more comfortable i also put some titanium scrapers, and we have a video that we did on that. So when this, these scrape, they make sparks just for fun. And you can see I've worn my floorboards down, so that stopped that from happening. Oh, the highway pegs. We don't even sell these highway peg mounts anymore. We do sell these pegs. This uh, heel rest, it makes it very comfortable. I can run my foot like this, like this, like this. And so I just really like having those on there. Um, I have the Wolo horn, it's an ear horn, very loud, tucked up out of the way behind here. It's dirty right now, but it doesn't get in Mary's way. Uh, I have the Samson True Dual Fishtails, which I really like. That's part of what I really wanted to do on this bike. Uh, and again, this is the deluxe back end versus the heritage back end where the turn signals come way out. 
here. This is a little drink holder for Mary. She can reach back when she's sitting here. Also, I put the bag stiffeners in here so they don't get all collapsed. Added this rack. Also moved this backrest for Mary back about three inches. And it's just factory everything. I just drilled a couple holes and just mounted it further back on the struts here. Mary also didn't like how much the seat, how high it was. So she cut about an inch and a half, two inches out of the foam on this seat and didn't, all she did is pull the vinyl off, cut the foam off, put the vinyl back on, staple it back on. I have the uh, extended brake pedal arm. It, instead of the brake pedal being up here, it's down here. It's much easier to use the rear brake now and uh, the ISO brake pad. I have Thunder Torque. I pulled the baffles out of the Samson's. We had it on the dyno, and what I did is I tried it with the baffles and Thunder Torque inserts. Without the baffles and Thunder Torque inserts, I like the sound, and it does a little bit more power with no baffles and Thunder Torque inserts in there. Another, there's probably a bunch of other little stuff I've done. There's a couple of prototype parts on here that we won't talk about yet. Um, but one other little thing I did is I put uh, dice um, valve, valve stem covers on here. How much horsepower did that add? It, it, it slowed it down a little. Oh. Slowed it down a little. Okay, other little thing I did. See all these? All these caps. These are all caps that I put on covering up the uh, bolts. Uh, the other thing you can't see is in the front end, I have the uh, plusher of the two springs that we carry. We have some that are more firm or aggressive, the plusher and the Rycor Intimidators. I have the factory rear shocks on. I find it very comfortable, as does Mary. We've seen no need to change that out. I don't think that bike comes with this. Um, when I bought this used in 2012, it already had this, and we have helmet locks on both sides. Um, I think that's it. Huh? Anyway, this is a bike that I've dreamed about from when I was in elementary school and used to sit on the curb on Westminster Boulevard and watch the bike club guys ride by. And I always had this color in my mind and fishtails in my mind and it took you know almost 40 years to make that dream that I thought of all those years come become a reality but uh, and it's just a lot a lot of fun to ride you guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe we'd appreciate it